thank you so much. Uh, my name is Joshua Cheptege, the, the team captain from uh, Paris, recently Paris Olympic Games uh, in, in France. And uh, we are very sad that we have lost uh, our sister Rebecca Cheptege in a very strange manner due to gender-based violence. And uh, I continue to reiterate that uh, gender-based violence should not have a place in our communities. And uh, in our women, in the sport, we really need to protect our young girls against gender-based violence. And uh, this goes without saying that uh, we have also placed a few demands to the government because of uh, some of the aspects that, that are still faced by our communities. And one of these is that uh, the facilities that we, especially the road network, when we, we, we still demand the government to fix the, the road networks where these athletes train from, so that it prohibits them from traveling web, uh, to, to distant countries, especially Kenya and other countries, for training. And you know when you are in a different uh, land, you are actually going to be faced with several challenges because you are, first and foremost, you are new to the ground and you don't know the place, you don't know good people. So we feel safe that we feel that our people, our colleagues, will be safe when they train from home here. And uh, I want to really appreciate the government for, for uh, putting up and completing the high altitude training center in Terried. But still, uh, the, the, the region still lacks more facilities because of the budding talent. Talents. We have thousands and thousands of young boys and girls who want to showcase their potential in, in, in athletics and in the sport. But look at the ground where we are now here. It's a home to, uh, it's a home and uh, it has produced multiple, multiple champions, especially Steven Kiprotich. Even me, myself, I started from here, training from here. So we really demand that uh, government can, 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 can upgrade this facility to the status, status that befits a world star. And uh, if that can be handled, we can be able to nurture our athletes and inspire them and create a narrative whereby it will be a sport made in Uganda. And that's, that's the key message that we want to have, a sport, sports, sport made from Uganda. And that's what we should really tell of that narrative. But we cannot, tell, we cannot talk about that narrative when our people are still training in Kenya. We cannot, talk about, we cannot talk about inspiring the young boys and girls when they do not see us training from home here. So we, it's a high time that government comes in uh, and uh, through the Ministry of Education to fix this facility so that it can be of great use to our people. And uh, lastly, I also want to uh, request the government to put up, uh, to consider the base region to benefit among the 72 training academies that have been gazetted in the whole country. And it is quite a shame that the Bay region with a lot of budding talents were actually cut off from uh, the, the, that development. So I implore our government, please, let us step up efforts and include Sabay Sub region among us the 22 training academies across the country so that we can be able to produce more Olympic champions and world beaters. As uh, the president of Uganda Athletics Federation and also as the athletics fraternity, this incident which caused the death of Rebecca Cheptege is so saddening and unbelievable that somebody can dose a partner with the petrol and set the person ablaze. This is unbelievable. As a federation and as the athletics fraternity, it is a painful thing. And I want to send out a message out there to the Dixons of Uganda, of Kenya, and the world over that such a thing should not continue happening. Somebody cannot be your sweetheart today, then tomorrow she is a subject of murder. It is very painful, it's not acceptable. Rebecca Chiptege had a long span of over 15 years in athletics and represented Uganda in very many championships. We were with her in Paris last, uh, just last month. She was an Olympiad. Last year she was a, a, a world champion in the world mountain and trail running in Chiang Mai. And she represented us in many other international events. 
In, 2020, in 2022, she set a new national record of marathon, which stood for over one year before Chesang Stella took that record from her. So we have lost a very valuable member of the athletics fraternity, a very valuable member of our family. And uh, it has happened in very unfortunate circumstances. This should not continue. No other woman, no other girl in Uganda or world over should face what Rebecca Cheptege went through. Her last race, she had to run for her life, burning and set ablaze by a partner, somebody who was her partner. It's not acceptable. What the two governments must do, they must support, they must support us as federations, both Uganda Athletics Federation and Athletics Kenya, to ensure the safety of our young girls. And even the boys, because last year we had to travel to Eldore to bury Benjamin Kiplagat, who was murdered in cold blood. There was a, a Burundian athlete training and co uh, competing with the Ugandans, who was also killed in Eldoret in cold blood. So, the government of Kenya and the government of Uganda need to do something for these things to stop. Particularly, that, that area of Eldoret is becoming a hotbed of these things happening. The authorities there must put in concrete steps to stop this. And in this side of Uganda, we shall engage with the government to support us in this area. Uh, today here, I'm not a happy man, because we have lost one of the prominent athletes, whom we have taken a long time to groom, but at last, see what is happening. So, uh, my information to the couples, whenever they have issues like this, they should consult elders or the local councils or even the, the district leaders to talk to them. Because what I see, what is happening now in the young couples is just temper. But if they are advised or they, if they are told or if they are, if they are gathered and gathered with the elders and I think elders should be giving the right information. And then another thing is that now we are living in a confused world whereby temper is, the, I think the devil is too much. The devil is out, is walking. Because I, uh, basing on the previous days for, athlete, uh, for athletes who have just passed, a big number of athletics, of athletes who die at the tender age, whereby these are the people we are depending on and they just die miserable days. For example, what happened in Kenya, recently we have just buried, actually it's not even a year, we have just buried one of our own who was stopped to this. Now this one is fire, so we don't know what's next. I think it's a high time. Uh, our elders and also other leaders need to sit down and see what is the problem. It's better to identify the problem early than to to than than, than late. Otherwise, I know we have lost, and uh, I am hoping that we sh should not continue losing serious people like her. Right now. Uh, as Ugandans or as people of the whole world, we have lost, you know in sports, once you lose one person, it is like you have lost a big number of athletes. Like now, we know sports is not about money, it's all about entertainment. Right now, we have lost a very big person who should have uh, mentored young athletes or young sports persons, but now there is a gap. I don't know who is going to do this, but uh, I know the young ones now, they will lose morale. Because knowing coming up to that level and you lose life like that, I know it is going to even scare the young athletes. We loved uh, athletes, Rebecca Jepteke. Uh, we lost her in a tragic way, but uh, we are really very sorry and uh, very certain.
for his death. Uh, really, for us here in Bukwa, we have uh, several challenges uh, in the side of athletics. One is the facilities for training, especially where we are standing. Uh, this is the field that First of all, maybe let me cut you short. Yeah. Say climbing to that lady's where she had reached is not easy. That's true. In from oh, okay. Yes. okay. Uh, if I may say uh, about uh, Rebecca Jepteke, really, you know, a person to reach to an Olympic level, it is not a simple task. It is really, it takes uh, hard work and uh, a lot of dedication, focus, Damnation. So, and you know, somebody comes in and just takes a life like that. It's not. It is not something that what we condemned and uh, we we really call upon all the stakeholders that we work on this issue because we don't want again to hear uh, about this and uh, hear an athlete loses life in this tra uh, tragic way. Uh, so, me personally, I will say, really we are certain and sorry, but I am appealing for the government of Uganda to work on the facilities of the training here in our country, especially in Bukwa. As I told you here where we are standing, this is, a, this is where the athletes of Bukwa train. But when it rains, you can't believe they don't do training here. So I'm requesting really our, our government to come in and help us. Say you go through challenges yes. to make it in life. Yeah. It's not easy. It is not easy. Yeah, it is really uh, a lot of challenges, and uh, these challenges, uh, we don't have better facilities for for training, and we really need this so that we have uh, the best talent in our country. Because here in Bukwa, we have really a lot of talent. We have a lot of talent here, untapped talent. But the facilities for training, it's a big challenge. But we request for our government to come in and help us. That request, that, that, that promised us that they are going to work on this field, but up to today, since 2010 up to now, we are still waiting. Thank you.